orange trim, and it's uh, blue uniforms with the red numbers and white trim for the Miners. Fortune to jump against Futures. Check, I mean, Sammy Robbins at mid-four. Sammy Robbins starting. So Robbins and Fortune to jump at mid-four. Ball in the air tap is controlled. Blue lit. They swing over left side. And from the outside, Futures lets fly. Will not go. Chase for the rebound. It's on the floor. And I get a push on Futures going for the yeah. rebound. That's just a hustle foul there, though. Yeah, what was seven seconds in? Now, wait a minute. Oh, I guess he's just saying it was touched out of bounds. No foul. Huh? Weather got a foul on Fortune, I guess, is who they get a foul to. Wow. Okay, so it comes in with the ball. Linton with it out high. They work it around the perimeter. Out front. Slover works with the basketball. Evan Slover. Alice is man-to-man -man to start out with. Slover across the floor on the dribble. Right side of the floor on the dribble. Dumps it out front. Three on the way. And good. As... Bombing it in from outside, Tucker Hayes. So up the floor with it. Here's Sager popping open. Shot won't go, though. Rebound fought for. Hunter Hopwood comes down with it. Went an early 3-0 lead. Sager around the horn to go. Down inside, try to get it to Rob. Knocked away, stolen by Linton. They spin it up the floor. Stop it, dump it in the lane. Get it inside. Shot put up by Robbins. Good for two. That makes it a 5 nothing lead for Linton early on. Corona across the timeline. Sam works double-teamed out front and threw it away. Coming up with a basketball. Linton, they bring it down the right side. Woodward with it. No, Woodward with the ball. Out high. Swings at the Fugers. Around the horn to go now. Hayes with it. Tucker Hayes. Back out front they go now. Slover. Slover stands with it out front. Back they go to Hayes on the left wing. Tucker Hayes. Dumps it out, Futures. Futures in the key with it. Out front, shot put up from three, rattling in. Good from three-point land is Woodward. Yeah, just another set. Two of their three trips, run set plays, got great looks. 8 nothing lead for the Miners. Out front it goes, Sager, Braden with the basketball. Dumps it out front. Corona with it, Sam. Works on the dribble, stops, kicks it over to left side now. To Rob, Rob way out high with it. Goes to the left corner. Fortune and threw it away. Boy, right in the hands of uh, Robbins. Easy steal there. Down the other end, Hayes going to the rack. Scoops it up and good. And the Owls going to have to call timeout. Lind off a great start. They lead 10 0 here early. We're back in 30 seconds here on WZDM and WZDM.com. What do you want for Christmas this year? What do you need for Christmas this year? Shoes and boots are a common forgotten item on that Christmas list. So I'm here to remind you. Hi, this is Tracy from Grundy, 906 North 7th Street, Vincennes. And whether it's a new pair of shoes for work, for going out, or just for fun, be sure everyone knows that you want a new pair of shoes from Grundman's this year. And if you can't decide between Red Wing, Tony Lama, Clark's, New Balance, Sass, or any of the other mini styles we carry, let me suggest a Grundman's gift card for you. May all your wishes come true, and have a Merry Christmas. Lynn off to great start. You're up 10 nothing here with uh, 5.57. You have to go here in the first quarter play. Shook one in for Fortune for the Allison. Comes in to Corona. Sam will work it up across the timeline. On the left side of the floor. Gets it off to Sager. Bray now on the left wing. Sager drives it in to the right side. Here's Hopwood. Back out front to Shookman. Oh, Damn. Yeah. Oh, yep. oh, that's a foul on Hopwood. Yeah, it just leaned the shoulder out right there. First on Hopwood, second on the Alice's. And Linton will bring it up, leading 10 0. Bringing it across the timeline. Slover. Slover with the ball. Hayes right side with it. Tiger Hayes with the ball out front. Dumps it out to Woodward. Woodward over to left side. Futures. Futures on the dribble. Lost it, but gets it back and dumps it down inside. They go to Robbins. Back to Woodward. Woodward down the left corner with it. Works on the dribble. Kicks across the floor. Down to Slover. Slover drives inside, leans in. That wow. won't go, but he's fouled by Corona. Got an edge on Sam. Put it on the deck and uh, through the contact. So Slover at the line. He's 8-11 from the stripe here in the early part of the season. Free throw on the way and good. So far, they haven't missed much. No, just uh, that... Opening three right off the tip. Lower eyes the iron for the second one. That one on the way, and makes it 12-zip. Alice's 
looking at some full court pressure. It is Sager. Now it goes back to Hopwood. Swing it up. Schiffman still in the backcourt with it. They will bring it across the timeline. Schiffman out between the circles on the dribble. Started by Woodward. On the right side of the key. Stops there. Picks up the dribble. Looking for help. Gets out high to Sager. Braden on the dribble. Weeds through traffic. In the lane. Little runner. Got it partially blocked. And they come up with it. Control at Hayes now. Tucker Hayes brings it across the timeline. Hayes shovels off deep three on the way. And good by Fugers. They cannot miss. Take back hands off right there in transition. They're up 15 nothing. Schiffman brings the cross with 439 to go here in the first quarter. Nate Schiffman from three. It's on the way. Still won't go. Deep rebound comes out to Witt on the run with it. Woodward. Woodward, leaner in the lane. They missed one finally. Rebound out of bounds. And that's off of Schiffman. It'll belong to Lynn. So the Miners will have it out on the baseline. And they're on a roll. 15 nothing. they lead it. Yes, they miss. Out front they go. Back in the corner, Hayes pops from three. Boy, wow. Tucker Hayes knocks down another three. Yeah, that's pretty good defense, too. I mean, we got through the screen and got a hand up and challenge. Still knocked it down. 18 nothing. Linton leads. Here's Hopwood with it out front. Leads it out now to Schuchman. Schuchman right side. Picks up the dribble. Kicks it over to Corona. Sam on the dribble into the key. Kicks it off now to Hopwood. Hopwood with the ball. Hopwood into the lane. Leans. Lefty won't go. Rebound. Knocked around. Pulled down by Lynn. Back the other way with it. Driving to the win. Woodward beat him back. Lincoln. Slow get back. Woodward burned, uh, burned him with a layup. Yeah, that shouldn't happen. Should get beat back. Down the other end comes Corona. It's now 20 to nothing. Lynn. 337 to go in the first quarter. Sager with an out run. Drives it to the baseline. Leans in. Shot still won't go. Rebound Rob. He'll try it. Won't go, but it'll go to the line. Foul on Robbins down inside. So, Braden Robbins will be at the line. Futures get his first foul for Linton. Rob on the season is 2-2 two two to the strike. The first one on the way. And boy, man, missed it. 20 to nothing. Yeah, that's kind of even tough to say. Wow. Look at. So Rob with another one. Got that one. They get the goose egg off the scoreboard. Rob will check out. Spencer thrown in for him. It's a 20 to 1 ball game. Lynn with the lead in the basketball. They work it up with the ball futures. Cross the timeline. Leaves down front Slover. Slover with the ball out high. Swings over to the left side of Woodward. He gives it off now. Robbins back out front. Here's Slover around his man. Got a block away by Schuchman. Good help defense by Schuchman. Yeah, good help because he had, he had an edge on Sam again. Awfully quick with the basketball. Put it down going to his right. Usually will take it out on the baseline here for the Miners. Looking. Still looking. Gets it in. Here's Slover on the baseline. Back over to Futures. And got knocked away by Schuchman. But coming up with it. They save it though. Two. Corona. Spencer brings it across. Spencer dumps it out for a shooting. Tate with a basketball. Where goes Sam. Down in the corner. Spencer. Corona works left side on the dribble. Drives it in the lane. Dumps it down the baseline. And off of Hopwood's hands into the hands of Robbins. Back the other way. Come the Miners. Across the timeline with it. They work it. Fugers out front. Woodward down inside. They get it to Robbins. Robbins turn around. Lefty shot up and nicely done. For two for Sammy Robbins. Yeah, pretty good position immediately. 22 to 1 win. Corona, Spencer, backs it out high to Sam. And there'll be an offensive foul. Oh, going to get him blocking. Uh, picking up the foul is Slover, his first, team second. Now also have it out on the baseline. Trailing 22 to 1. 224 to go in the first quarter. Been a blitz. Escalated quickly. Sager inbounds it, looking. Gets it in the corner to Corona, Sam with the ball. Works out front, swings it out high. They go way out around mid for Spencer. Spencer on the dribble out high, swings over left side Sam. Brought it back out front, Schuchman. Schuchman drives it to the rack, scoops it up, won't go. Rebound pulled down by Robbins for the Miners. They bring it the other way. Futures 
Swings over left side, driving the baseline, pulled up his Hayes. Rims out, no good. Rebound fought for. Robbins comes down with it. They load it back out front. Fugers from three. Won't go. Rebound. Tracked down by Corona. Spencer with the basketball. Hustles it up the floor. Across the timeline with it. Works it over the right side. Shookman whips it down inside and trying to get the shot, but wouldn't oh. go. And Hopkins got fouled on the follow-through, I guess. <laughs> Pretty like close to being clean. Smothered it. Yeah. Robbins is going to get the foul. Like That's his second. I like him in the post, though. I like Hopwood working down there. Free throw up and good. Hunter. Have another one coming in. Anyway. Fortune comes in here for Sam Corona. Well, Hopwood ready to shoot another one here. That's up and good. All three Lincoln's points have been from the cherry stripe. Hopwood will check out, laying in for him, 22 to three. Linton leads. It's been a 42 to go here in the first quarter. Miners bring it up. Noah Woodward across the timeline, hands it off to Hayes. Hayes with the ball out for it. Check, I should say that is Slover. Now they lob it inside. That fortune there, nicely played to come away with the steal, but I think he stepped out of bounds. He came down with it. Nice help from the backside by Jackson, but came down out of bounds with it. Old set out of the Vincennes playbook. Lincoln Hale checking in, 6-3 freshman. Miners take it out. Woodward goes out high. Slover. Slover with a basketball. Hands it out way out front to Futures. Futures. Shovels it back to Woodward. Across the floor, they go to Hale. Back down, Slover. Slover works down the right side, drives it to the lane. It's partially blocked, and anyway. offensive foul. Standing in there was Sager to take the charge by Slover. That's his second foul. Yeah, nice job by Brayton. Feet into the spot. Uh, Slover, I mean, aggressive on the dribble. I mean, he, he's getting uh, pretty deep. Gonna have to try and limit that. He'll go to the bench with yeah. two. Tucker Hayes will come back in for him. And Big foul. Spencer across the timeline. Corona gives it off to Sager out on the left wing. Sager kicks it down off the glass. Go. Nope, nope, going to be offensive yeah. foul against Lane. Go back, he goes the other way. Oh, that was First foul on Isaac, 14 foul on the Alces. 22 to 3. Linton leads, 58 seconds to go here in this first quarter. Miners walk it up. Fugers will bring it across the top line. Brings it out high to Hale. Hale brings over to Hayes. Hayes back out high to Fugers. Fugers over the left side. They work it. I also try a little trapping here. Fugers double teamed out front. Trying to step through it. And the timeout called by Linton. Linton wants a timeout. 35 seconds to go in the first quarter. The Miners up 22-3. We're back in 30 seconds. Here on WZDM and WZDM.com. It's basketball season, so with all those great games going on, you need a delicious Bill Bob's Pizzeria Pizza. Strong and breadsticks to satisfy your hunger. Dine in on North 6th Street before the game and enjoy a mouth-watering pizza in the dining room. Or call 882-2992 and have it delivered. Or pick one up on your way home. Always the freshest ingredients. Always Bill Bob's Pizzeria. The only truly genuine original Bill Bob's Pizzeria. On North 6th Street, Vincennes. 35 and a half seconds to go here in the first quarter. Linton with the basketball. They're up by bunch, 22 to 3. Lincoln Yetta with a field goal here in this quarter. Yeah, Linton probably going to try to keep it for one here, see if the Alces can push the envelope, put a little pressure on them. Right across the Fugers. He weaves through traffic, dumps nice. the outside wide open. Robbins yeah. for an easy two. Oh, good looking pass. That was Silas Robbins who checked in, the other Robbins. 24-3, down inside, shot partially blocked on the attempt by Corona, and then a foul on Fortune, and Jackson picks up his second. Man. We'll take it out of the back forward, 17 seconds to go, and works it up. 21-point lead here in the first quarter. Left side, Hale. Oh, they did something wrong. They yeah. turned it over. Man. Lane will take it out in the backcourt, dumps it into Corona. Spencer crossed the timeline with it. 
Five seconds to go. Spencer out front, down inside to get the lane. He puts one up, won't go at the buzzer, and that won't end. They Did they call foul? Well, yep. I was wondering if they were going to, because it clearly looked like a foul right before the buzzer. Lane will be shooting a couple. Foul was on Hayes, I think. Well, we'll wait and see. We'll give it to you for sure. Officials are chatting here. I think it's on Futures, which would be his first. Uh, so Futures picks up his first, and Lane at the line all by himself, and can't hit the first free throw. I'm sure, the analysis are over last night's second half. Isaac knocks down the second one. That will end the first quarter play. It's 24 to 4. Advantage Linton back in 60 seconds. Four at the end of the first quarter. Alice says no field goals in the first quarter. Now, uh, 0 for 7, 0 for 1 from three point land. On the flip side, uh, 9 of 14 for Linton from the floor, 4 of 6 from behind the arc. Alice will start the quarter with a basketball. Sam Corona between the circles, right sideline, it goes to Lane. Isaac with a basketball, puts it to the floor, works on the dribble out high, picks up the dribble now, kicks out front to Corona. Sam with a basketball, takes the left side to open from three, lets it fly. Hey, there we go, bucket. Corona knocks down a three-pointer. Now the house is going to extend the defense a little bit here. Get it into Hale, knocked away, but they come up with it. With the ball, Woodward gets it right back on the left wing. Woodward with it, dumps it out front to Hale, around the horn, they bring it down to Futures. Futures on the dribble out front. Futures down the baseline. It goes to Hayes. Hayes will circle back out front. Dump it out to Woodward. Around the horn to go to Hale. Hale driving and that just lost the handle on it. No damage. I guess no foul. Both players go down, but Lincoln basketball. We'll take it. Turnover number five for Linton. Corona will work it up. Alice is down by 17 here early in the second quarter. Corona. With the ball, kicks it out high. Hopwood, Hunter Hopwood with it. Old bad pass. Stolen away, taking the other end. Hayes, Hayes shovels it off inside. Hale put it up, missed it. Got a break there, rebound lane. Well, don't bring it the other way. Same with the ball out front. Brings out front, Hopwood open from three, lets it fly, that won't go. Deep rebound, comes out, now being off the hail out of bounds. The houses will maintain possession. A decent look. By hop, just off the back iron. Well, I think it's a matter of a little confidence right now yeah. for the analysis. Oh, for sure. Uh, I mean, you know that's in their heads. Uh, you know, from last night still. Uh, need to do something. Uh, Sam knock one down. See if we can get him another open look. Throw with the basketball. Takes it across the timeline. Works right side of the floor on the dribble. Corona with the ball. Yeah, picks up the dribble. Dumps it to Hopwood, who draws a crowd. Even all kinds of traffic. Dumps it out the lane. Isaac will launch from three. Is that way down in and out? And a rebound pulled down by Clark. They pass down the lane, trying wow. to catch up with the boy. Nice finish by Silas Robbins. Yeah, that's a great catch right there. Underneath the backboard. 26-7, they lead it. Down inside Hopwood again. They swarm upon him. Fortune with the ball out high. Fortune will drive it. Leans in, blocking foul against Robbins, I believe. Yeah, strong take by Jackson. Silas Robbins picks up the foul. The out of bounds on the baseline before the shot. Isaac Lane will take the out of bounds for the Alice's. Looking, looking, still looking. Gets it into Fortune on the right way. Jackson out front. Goes to Hopwood. Hopwood between the circles. Picks up the dribble now. Kicks it off to Fortune. Jackson with the ball out high. On the right side he works it. Out front they go. Corono pops from three. Got another one. Sam Corona. Boy, Samuel, just a little step back off the player. 16-point lead for the win. The Myers bring it up across the timeline. Futures. Lobs over the right side. Hayes with it. Hayes to Clark. Clark drives. Off the glass won't go, but they foul on Braden Robb. That'll be his first, and they'll go to the line to shoot a couple. Noah Clark to the strike. 6'3", senior. 3 of 4 from the line so far this season. Averaging about seven a contest off the bench. And can't get the free th first free throw to go. Shookman in for Robbins. Another toss coming here for Clark. 
Noah Clark. Free throw on the way. Missed them both. Rebound, Shookman. Off it comes. Corona. Sam with the basketball. Brings it down. Kicks it out front to Shookman. Shookman top of the key. Back to Corona. In the corner, Fortune. Jackson dribbles out high. Takes it. Inside. Leans in. Tough shot. Won't go. Rebound inside. Hopwood puts it up. Good and one. Nice move by Hunter Hopwood down inside. Crashing the boards. Got the miss uh, thrown up by, I think it was Jackson. Able to collect it and draw the contact and finish. So at the line will be Hunter Hopwood. He's got four points in the ball game. Foul was on Robbins. Silas Robbins, his second. Hopwood at the line with one. It is on the way. No good. Rebound, though, Shookman. Tate comes out of the pack with it. Loads it out to Sager. Back to Shookman. He'll launch the three. Got it. Tate Shookman knocks down the three-pointer. The Alice within 11. Five minutes to go here in the first half. Across the timeline, Woodward with it. Woodward with the ball out front. Hands it out high. They give it right back to Woodward. He swings over. Here's Futures from three. Got away good for a wide open. He's not going to miss that. Yeah. Great looking shot. Down the other end. Corona, runner in the lane. Won't go. Rebound knocked around in there. Pulled down by Linton. That was not a real good shot. Pass down the four. Clark inside. Puts it up. Won't go. Rebound pulled down by Hopwood. Alice is up by, down by 14 with 425 to go. Coach Downs working the official. They walk back down to the other end. Here's Fortune with the ball out front. Jackson top of the key on the dribble. Swings over left side. Sam Corona. Back out front. Shookman. Tate with a basketball. Around the coast to Sager. Braden back out front. Corona top of the key. Sam spins in the lane. Nothing there. Kicks it back out to Fortune. Fortune from three. Out of Jackson. Fortune knocking down a three. Now the back with an 11. Under four minutes to go here in the first half. Out the the timeline. Comes Woodward with it. Woodward, double team. He lost the handle. It's loose on the floor. Fortune dies in there after it is tied up, and the arrow belongs to Lynn. Good hustle. Coach Thompson wanted a foul. But uh, yeah, I can't believe it didn't get a reach there. Well, well, I'm not going to talk about the officials, but <laughs> there's one here that's always interesting. We'll leave it at that. Woodward inbounds it. Back out front they go. Futures. Futures. In the lane, knocked away, and picked up by Hopwood. Comes off now. Spencer Corona, right side of the floor. Spencer with the basketball. Dumps it out to Fortune. Jackson back out high. Shookman, Shookman leaves it off to Sager. Sager, right side, Spencer. Corona with the basketball on the dribble. Brings it across the floor. Shookman. Shookman drives the baseline. Cut off. Kicks it back out to Fortune. Jackson puts it down inside Hopwood. Hopwood with position. Muscles one up. Will not go. Rebound fought for. Fortune comes down with it. Oh, it's tied up, but the arrow points away the Allison. The Lincoln will still have the basketball out on the baseline. Boy, that ball just wouldn't go. No, uh, I mean, good move by Hopwood down there. Uh, just couldn't get it to roll in. Sager inbounded. Looking. Dumps it way out high. Corona. Spencer with the ball. Lincoln down 29-18. Spencer gives it off to Fortune on the left wing. Jackson looking inside. Lots of downside. They got position inside. And putting it up and in, nice shot by Hopwood. Yeah, off the four quickly comes Woodward. Woodward on the right corner. Works it down into the lane. Pops from 15. Shot good. Boy, nice looking shot. Noah Woodward. And that off nicely. Across the other end. Down the Allison. Down 31-20. Here's Fortune. Got a knock away. Woodward with a steal. Woodward. Racing over to right side. Hayes almost lost it, but saved it. Hayes out to Futures. Deep three by Futures. Boy, got another one. Jeez. That's a killer. Yeah. yeah. Alice is back down by 14 now. Futures, boy, that's a great three. Deep three. See why he's averaging 17 a ball game. Here's Sager. Left side of the floor on the dribble. Braden dumps it out front to Fortune. Jackson with a basketball. 210 to go here in the first half. Lincoln down by 14. Back out. Corona. Right side. Sager. Sager. Drives it, cut off, kicks it back down. Hopwood, Hopwood on the right wing with it. Dumps it back out to Fortune. Jackson, three on the way. Won't go, it's an air ball, but it's in there to collect it and bring it back out. 
Cookman dumps it down inside. Hopwood inside, puts it up, and got it, boy. Hunter, nice job down in the paint so far here in this quarter. Yeah, that's planning down there. 12-point lead for the Miners. They bring it up. Minute 35 go here to third. Woodward over to Hayes. Hayes back out front. Woodward. Woodward with the ball out front. Swings it out. Fugers. Or pick him up in midcourt. <laughs> Fugers. Drives it to the baseline. He uh, oh. was going to get a little bump by Sager, I think. Be first on Braden. They'll be at the line shooting one of one. Fugers will be at the stripe. He's seven of nine coming into the game. Right, see Lane come in. We're going to see Rob and uh, Hopwood and Fortune, I believe, going to the bench. Yeah, Hopwood's sucking air. Uh, needed a little breather here. Fugers at the line shooting one of one. Six three senior. Free throw on the way, and no good. Rebound pulled out of there by Rob. Up the floor with it. Corona linking down by a dozen with a minute 15 to go here in the first half of play. Out front they go to Sager. Braden, right side of the key, takes it to the baseline. Leaner off the glass, and good. Nice shot off the glass by Sager. His first bucket of the night. Ten-point lead for the Miners with a minute to go here in the first half. Up across the timeline, Futures with it. Kip Fugers out high. They work it to Clark. Check it, Hale, rather. Now they give it to Fugers. Fugers guarded closely by Schuchman. They give it back out front to Woodward. Woodward on the dribble. Into lane through traffic. Got bumped before the shot, but he'll go the line here. Got some guys that are pretty quick off the dribble. Yeah, they are. Uh, he's certainly one of them. Slover, Woodward. Those guys can put it on the deck and get around you. So here's Woodward at the line. He's 9 of 10 from the stride, shooting a 1-1. One -one. Not afraid of contact either. Rattles it in good. Trying to bump the lead back up to a dozen. I would say they're all football players. Oh, I wouldn't. Can't get the second one to go. Rebound pulled off there by Lane. Lincoln will bring it up down 35-24. 34 seconds to go here in the first half. Shookman dumps it out front. Sager, Sager, and Lincoln pulling it out high. Working the clock down here in the first half of play. Went out to Shookman. Tate with the ball way out front. 17 seconds to go on the dribble now. Works across the floor. Reverses. Picks it up. Picks it back out. Spencer, right sideline to go to Lane. Isaac lost the handle on. Gets it back with five seconds to go. Sager, tough ball away shot. It's an air ball. Boy, that was not the shot you wanted. And the Alice's go to the locker room. So they will start the quarter with a basketball. Comes in to Slover, who will bring it across the top line. Works it out front against Corona. Lincoln man to man. They dump it out high to Woodward. Woodward kicked away by Sam Corona out of bounds. Still along to Linton. They'll have it out on the side. So it's set to start the second half, run. Uh, not sure who it was off three screens and isolate four just in the post. Slovert with the ball out front. Works on the dribble. Kicks out high. Robbins lobbed down inside. Futures leans in and walked. Yeah. Sager doing a good job holding his ground down there. Futures is it, not Fortress. Is that what I said? No, that's what I said. Oh. You said it right. I said it wrong. Well, that's a rare moment. <laughs> up across the timeline. Dummy Alice's fortune with the ball out front. Puts it on the floor, drives down the right side, cut off, bad pass. Oh, boy, that's just a bad pass. Yeah, kills you. Fugers brings it up across the top line. Down in the corner, wide open from three is Hayes. Way down and in, back in. I thought it was going to come out, but nope. It's third three. They bump the lead up to 38 24. Sager pass. Down to the baseline, Hopwood. Hopwood back to Sager from three. That's short. Will not go. They get the rebound. And they've got the lead pass up the floor. The easy breakaway for Hayes. Wow. So this is not the way no. the Alice is one of this third quarter to start. They find themselves down by 16, 40 to 24. And timeout won by the Alice is 6.47 to go. It's 40-24. Linton, we're back in 60 seconds here on WZDM. WZDM.com. 
People ask a lot of questions about Ivy Tech Community College. Like, if I start my bachelor's at Ivy Tech, will any four-year school take my transfer credits? Sure, dozens. We have transfer agreements with IU, Purdue, and lots more colleges and universities in and out of state. Last year, more than 31,000 of our students transferred credits. And this year, we'd love to help you join them. Find your answers at ivytech.edu slash FAQ. Then apply for free at ivytech.edu. 6.47 to go here. Quick timeout by the houses. Coach Thompson's not happy with the way this quarter started off. They've extended their lead back to 16. It's 11 at halftime. Comes over to Sager now. Brayton with a basketball. Puts it to the floor. Drives it into the key, into the lane. Scoops it up. Won't go. Hopwood puts it back up off the glass and good. Under Hopwood. Right spot, right time. Yeah, there's some notes for the ball. I mean, he always finds himself under there battling for boards and putbacks. Woodward with the ball out around mid floor. Woodward on the dribble now. Up to the sideline. They work it out front to Futures. Futures hands it off to Slover. Slover with the ball. Stands with it. Still standing it. Now puts it to four, drives it into the lane, and ran right over Fortune and with third foul on Jackson. That's a tough one. I mean, he just put his head down and going as yeah. long as he can to the rim. Trickman up off the bench. We'll be checking in here. He will come in for Jackson, who's picked up his third. They'll have it out on the baseline, leading 40 to 26 with 6.06 to go here in the third quarter. Linton will inbound it. Go out high to Slover. Slover now to Futures. Futures, 12. Shot rattles in good. I don't know if he's, well, I think he missed his very first shot of the ballgame. I don't know if he missed since then. Yeah, that's awful good. Just turn and face, a little jab step, and up. Back to 16-point lead. Here's Sager. Passes up to three. Drives it to the rack. Finger roll. Spins oh. off. No good. Rebound. Swatted and saved by the Alices. Nope, they're going to say Corona was on the sideline. So it'll belong to Linton. 42-26, they lead it. Miners will have it out in the backcourt. And Slover will bring it up the floor. Slover works right side of the floor on the dribble. Back away and stolen by Corona. Spencer with a nice steal. Brings it up across the timeline. Corona swings it over to Shookman. Tate with the ball. Kicks it out high. Sam Corona back to Hopwood. Hopwood hands it out high to Shookman. Tate with the ball out front. Picks up his dribble out there and swings it over now to Spencer. Down in the corner, Sager. Braden on the dribble, brings it out front to Shookman. Shookman back to Sager on the right sideline. Whip it down inside Hopwood. Hopwood, oh man, passed up the shot, gives it off, and bites it done, though. Well, I thought he had a shot underneath, but one got the three from Corona. That'll work. Yeah, a little inside out. And I'm like you. He had really good position down there. And on the dribble, thought he could have went up with it. But good find. Samuel knocks it down. So they bring it up, leading 42-29. 4.50 to go here in the third. Fugers will bring it across for the Miners. Fugers out front on the dribble. Covered by Hopwood. Spins and ball almost stolen. Coming up with a little slover. Slover then double dribble. And also get it back with a little good defensive pressure that time. Got to turn over number nine by Linton third here in the third quarter. So Lincoln will have it out in the backcourt. Down 42-29. That's the timeline with it. Spencer Corona works right side of the floor in the dribble. Corona kicks it back out front. Shookman. Shookman over to Corona. Corona back out high to go to Sam. Sam. From 16, will not go. Rebound, pulled down by Slover. He's on the run with it, knocked away from the eye, but a reach hit foul on Corona. Sam will pick up his second. Belong to the Miners. 13-point lead for Linton. Allison has been trying to dig out a hole since the first quarter. 4-13 to go here in the third. Comes into the backcourt, and Slover will bring it across the timeline. Slover works out front. Takes it right side of the floor on the dribble. Bounces man to man. They go out front down to Hayes. Hayes with the ball. Hands it off to Woodward. Woodward back to Hayes. Hayes, deep three on the way. Will not go. Rebound collected by Corona. Sam will bring it up across the timeline. Gets it off. Sager. Almost stopped. Gets it down in the corner. Here's Hopwood in the lane. Leans in. Puts it up. Got it partially blocked by Robbins. 
Robbins will hand it off. They'll whip it up the board. Well, he goes over to Woodward from three. Will not go. Rebound Hopwood knocked out of bounds. Boy, you just got to love the way Lynn goes to the basketball. Yeah, Man. they do. I mean, they, they all crash, and, you know, they play together well. These guys uh, seem like they've been playing together for a long time. Yeah, also with the basketball, and she's knocked out by Linton. Here's Corona, seeing him out on the left wing. Dumps it out front. Sager, Gals it down by 13 here in the third. With the ball, Spencer Corona, left sideline. Puts it to the floor, works on the dribble. Kicks it back out to Hopwood. Over goes to Sam Corona. Sam back to Spencer. Spencer back to Sam. Sam drives, pulls up off the glass, and rattles in good for about 12. Gals is... Down by 11 again. Cross the timeline with it. Ugers. Ugers with the ball out front. Swings it across the floor to Woodward. Woodward back out front. They go to Hayes. Hand it out high to Slover. Slover with the basketball out front. Slover. Right sideline, Hayes. Hayes. In the key. Backs it out. Hands it back out to Slover. Slover splits the defense. Takes a rack. Missed the shot. Rebound comes off to Robbins. Over to Ugers from three. Won't go. Rebound, though. Robbins dumps it back out. Here's Hayes driving to the baseline and fouled by you know, Shukman and Sager both in the area. Let's see who they give it to. In fact, it's going to be Tate, I think, who gets fouled. Yeah, they just they know where each other are going to be. I mean, I said it looks like they've been playing together for a long time. It's just the, it's the little things. It's like that. He gets in the air. He knows where his guy's going to be. The piggybacks, the handoffs. Well, they'll take it out of the baseline. Lob it in, and timeout. Timeout wanted by Linton. 2.21 to go here in the third. Linton leads 42-31. We're back in 30 seconds here on WZDM and WZDM.com. I just bought a used car. As did I. Mine has a slight dent in the driver's side door and a few other minor scratches. But, hey, considering the deal I got, I can live with a few imperfections. Well... I got the great price without the imperfections. Whoa, there's no way that's used. Sure, Thorn Auto Sales is a used car dealership, but we will work with you when the other guys won't. Cash sales or buy here, pay here payments available. No hassle. Come see BJ, Rusty, and Sherry at 9th and Main in downtown Vincennes. 2.21 to go in the third. The houses keep trying to claw back. Still down by 11, though, 42-31, and Linton will have the ball out on their big slide. The futures triggering an inbounds play. Linton 0 for their last four from the field. Futures lobs it in. Slover, right corner. Brings it out high to Woodward. Bring it out front down to Hayes. Back they go down to Slover, who will set things up. Leaves it way out between circles. Futures. Well, with the ball. They dump it back out to Slover in the center of circle area. Slover with the ball. Works it into the lane and got bumped by Corona. Spencer will pick up the foul. <laughs> Isaac stands in there and takes the charge. It's nothing, nothing. To, yeah, <laughs> nothing to show for. So Corona picks up his sec second foul. Ball out on the baseline again to the Miners. Dump it in the corner to Hayes. Back out front to Slover. Now Futures between the circles. Futures stands with it. Guarded by Shookman. Leaves it over now to Woodward out around mid-floor. Woodward back out to Fugers. Minute 48 to go in the third. 11-point Linton lead. Fugers drives the baseline. I think he turned Carried it over. Yeah. Carried it around the corner. It's kind of hard to believe he's just a sophomore. Uh, yeah. I mean, big body and plays, you know, under control. Bringing it across the timeline. Spencer Corona. The Alice is down 42-31. Fortune, back out, Brown, they bring it down. Here's Shookman out front. He's out high to Fortune. Now back out to Spencer, circles out on the dribble, gives it back to Shookman. Sideline, they go to Fortune. Jackson with a basketball, works it into traffic. Tough shot, nice pass down in the lane. Well, that's a great dish by Fortune. I thought he was going up with it. Yeah, turned the corner there at the elbow and drew the defense. Nice dish. And also with a nine, here's Futures. Stops, kicks it out front. Word we'll, three, got it, boy. They've answered every they, time. They really have. Woodward bumps the lead up to a dozen. With the ball, Gals is working. 
Here's Corona, a little runner, short off the glass, gets his rebound, puts it back up and in. Nice job, I'd say. Timeout. Alice's 44 seconds to go here in the third. Lincoln down by 10. We're back in seconds here on WZDM and WZDM.com. I pre-planned my funeral to make it easier on my family. They were relieved to know I'll get just what I want. My family actually thanked me for taking matters into my own hands. Turns out having this awkward conversation wasn't awkward at all. Pre-planning is my choice. There are certain things about me my family may not know. Now they won't need to guess. The choices are yours. The peace of mind is theirs. Pre-plan your funeral with Frederick and Son McClure at Funeral Home and Crematory, and everything will be taken care of. Forty-five, thirty-five. Alice is trailing. Linton. Forty-four seconds to go here in the third quarter of play. Lincoln been down by as many as twenty. Just trying to battle back. Every time they well, they got to within uh, single digits, but then they came down and knocked down three. Not for very long. They, they, Single did just stop for very long. I mean, like you said, they just answered every time. You think maybe we may get a chance to go on a run. It's quick, too. I mean, we, we, we don't get to play defense very long after we cut it. Lynn with a little uh, with a basketball. Out front, Futures. Futures, oh, offensive man. foul. Boy, that's a tough call, though. That's a call you, you don't see made very often, but a uh, little bit of complaint from Coach Sharp, but not a whole lot. Shipman in for Fortune, Sager in for Lane, and the Alice's have it with 32 seconds to go in the quarter. Down by 10. Have to turn over. Now uh, let's get a bucket and we'll get them all coming out in the fourth. Corona out to Sam. Sam Corona with it on the dribble. Kicks it to Sager in the center circle area. They pull it out high. 18 seconds to go in the quarter. Here's Spencer with it. Trying to take care of the basketball here, that's for sure. Nice cut to the hoop, and Sager an easy two off the pass from Hopwood. Quickly, they race it down. Here's Slover in back away out of bounds by Corona. Yeah, good hustle. 2.8 seconds. They will have it out on the baseline. Push it. Had an opportunity there. Spencer doesn't get back. That could be caught and put in. They still will have it out on the baseline here with 2.8 seconds to go in the third quarter. Lob it out front. Slover, Slover from the foul line, shallow way, good. At the buzzer, they pump it back up. The 10-point lead at the end of three, an answer. Yeah, that last one uh, at the buzzer. Just a catch and one dribble pull up, and it was contested, and he knocked it down. But the Alsa shoot at 6 of 11 in that third quarter, uh, trim one point off the halftime lead. Alsa with the ball to start the quarter. Here's Braden Sager out front to Shookman. Shookman between the circles. Over to Sager, right sideline. Sager circles out front, gives it to Corona. Deep three by Sam. Way down in and out. Rebound. Pulled down by Robbins. Gets it off to Woodward. With the ball. Woodward works it up. Kicks it over now to Woodward. Woodward with the ball out high. Backs out on the dribble. Works it. Fell down, but saved it to Slover. Slover, Carl. Off the floor and out of Hale. He's checked into the ball game. Back they go down. Slover. Hale. They're going to go into their patient offense here. Problem when you play these guys, they can sit on a lead for a while. Woodward with the ball. Kind of knocked away, but gets it back. Dumps it back now out front to Slover. 10 point Linton lead. 6.54 to go into contest. Slover in the lane. Robbins dumps to the left corner. Three on the way by Hale. Got it. Boy, that's just, that's just good. <laughs> that's, what, that's what that means. Great that's offense, good. great ball movement. Knock the shot down. That is their ninth three in the ball game. They bump the lead back up to 13. Goes over to Hopwood. He's going to try a three. One on the iron. Will not go. And Robbins walked a mile with that ball. But no call. It'll be Linton basketball. Woodward will bring it up. Across the timeline, they lead it down 50-37. With the ball, and boy, great take by Slover. How about a first step on that guy? Yeah, just fight. 
They can bump it back up now. 52-37. Houses were then 10 at the end of three, but eventually when they start to make a run, Linton has answered. Here is Schickman inside. Tough turnaround shot, won't go. Swatted out by Hopwood, though. Now Sager, runner in the lane, got fouled, and will go to the stripe. Yeah, that's that's something I, I think maybe that was discussed at the half was be more aggressive to the basket because we've had a, a, a number of trips down here on the offensive end where we've really put the ball on the floor and looked to get to the line on our layup. Sager the stride for two, first trip the line for Braden. First one rattles out, no good. Another one coming away here. Sager laying in for Schuchman, and they bring in uh, Clark for Robbins. Another toss here for Braden. That one's up, that one's good. 52-38, Linton with the lead. 5.48 to go here in the contest. Slover, double teamed out front, lob it down inside, fall away, shot up and good off the glass from Noah Clark. Now to bring it the other way. Down now by 16. Down they go. Hopwood, Hopwood, wheels inside, cut off, kicks it back out. Corona, Sam with the ball on the left wing. Back to Hopwood, Hopwood in the lane. Nice stop, nice drop, a drop step, and finished by Hopwood. Boy, he looks good down there tonight. Yeah, he does. He's got good post moves. 14-point lead for Linton, 5-10 to go. Here's Slover through traffic. Boy, he is good. I mean, he, he's the guy that makes them go. He, they missed him in that second quarter. Yep. Yeah, he doesn't pick up two, and I'm not so sure we can fall back into right. it. Yeah. Foul on the play was on uh, Spencer Corona. He checks out, fortune in for him. Third foul on Spencer. And they bring it across now. Futures. Back they go now. In the corner. Through traffic. Leaner in off the glass and good. Again, that is uh, Noah Clark. He likes that glass. 16-point lead again. For Linton. Fortune. Oh, man. Another bad pass. Stolen easily by Clark. He takes the other end but blew the shot, but he got fouled. Man, you got to make sure that pass is there. Happened right in front of us uh, two times. Yeah. Lincoln Hale was actually the guy going to the hoop here. He's going to the line. Foul on the play against Isaac Lane, his second. But Hale at the strike. Lincoln Hale, he's got two points and missed the first free throw. Woodward will come in and give Fugers a uh, either here with 4.41 to go. Trying to make it a 17 point lead with his second toss here. Lincoln Hale, the freshman, 6'3". It's all in the way, and it's good. And they bumped it back up to a 17-point lead. Rally goes to Fortune. Out front, Sager from three. Still won't go. Rebound, fought for, pulled down by Slover. They bring it up the other way. Slover walking across the mid-four stripe. Left side, they work it. Nice pass wide open inside. Blew the shot, though, but they get the rebound. Knocked around in there, still battling for it. Loose on the floor, comes out to Lynn. Down inside, got a man wide open, but a bad pass. Fortune comes up with it. Now they're going to call traveling on Fortune, who is on the floor. Boy. Well, they had guy open underneath, one of the Robins, and the pass hit the part of the basket going to him underneath. And the house is so can't hang on to it. Back he goes to Lynn. 4 11 to go there by 17 with the ball. Here with the ball is Lincoln Hale. They bring it back out to Slover. Now to Woodward. Oh, man, that's a foul for sure on Hopwood. Yeah, he's trying to get through a screen. Fugers didn't like it, but, you know, hey. Don't lie and shoot free throws. Yeah, I don't understand that. I mean. So, Fugers, he's got 11 points in the ball game. Will toe the strike. Shoot the 1-1. First one on the way, and no good. Rebound, Fortune. Tom running out of the houses. Under four minutes to go, they're down by 17. Fortune with the ball out front. 
Jackson. Tough shot. Won't go. Rebound fought for. Pulled down by Slover. He races it up the floor. Left side to go. Hale with it. Back out to Futures. Across the floor they go now. Woodward. Woodward back out front. Futures stands in the center circle area with it. Left side to go. Hale. Back out front. Woodward. This is what makes them tough. They get a lead. They can work the ball a little bit. Slover, double team, but he gets it off. Oh, guy wide open With the ball, Futures. Gets it off, Woodward. Down inside, ball knocked away, stolen by Lane. Gets it off to Corona. Sam whips it down inside, Hopwood. Hopwood in traffic, leans in, shot won't go. Rebound comes out, Slover. Back the other way with it comes Linton. Up by 17 with three minutes to go. Out front, Hale, nice crossover dribble, but uh, lost the handle on, gets it back, comes it down to Slover in the corner, and Linton wants a timeout. 2.51 to go, and Linton with the commanding lead, 57 to 40. We're back in 60 seconds here on WZDM, WZDM.com. Now is the time to invest in your farming operation. Now is the time to increase your yields and irrigate your field with a Renke Irrigation System from Ileana Irrigation. The investment of a new irrigation system from Ileana Irrigation and Renke will allow you to put the right amount of water on your crops when you need it. No matter the size or shape of your field, let Ileana Irrigation and Renke help you make the right irrigation investment. Renke, more right than rain, and Ileana Irrigation, Knox County's only center pivot irrigation dealer. What do you want for Christmas this year? What do you need for Christmas this year? Shoes and boots are a common forgotten item on that Christmas list, so I'm here to remind you. Hi, this is Tracy from Grundman, 906 North 7th Street, Vincennes. And whether it's a new pair of shoes for work, for going out, or just for fun, be sure everyone knows that you want a new pair of shoes from Grundman's this year. And if you can't decide between Red Wing, Tony Llama, Clark's, New Balance, Sass, or any of the other many styles we carry, let me suggest a Grundman's gift card for you. May all your wishes come true, and have a Merry Christmas. Well, 251 remains, and Linton in the driver's seat. They've been in the driver's seat since that first quarter when they jumped out to a 24-4 lead. Lincoln has clawed back. They were within 9 at one point, but every time they've gotten close, the door has been slammed shut by the Miners. They'll take it in. Linton with the basketball. Hale, around the horn. They work it down. Back out Slover in the key. They dump it back out. They're just going to play keep away now. Hayes with it. Back out Slover. Slover in the key, stops, kicks it back out, and almost in the backcourt, but saved by Slover. Now they give it to Futures. Ball, Corona almost had it, but it goes out of bounds. But Linton running clock here. They got a 17-point lead with two and a half minutes to go. They are going to go to 4-0 oh in the season. Tough weekend for the Allisons with a couple of losses. And they get in the lane. Futures, he's open and puts it up and missed it. Rebound fought for. Rob had it and throws it. And timeout called by the Allisons. So Lincoln had possession. Timeout call. Lincoln will hang on to the basketball. Trailing by 17. We're back in 30 seconds here on WZDM and WZDM.com. Friendly, approachable, down to earth. If that doesn't sound like your bank, then you should come to First Vincent Savings Bank. No one wants to do business with a snobby, uptight banker. You need someone approachable who cares about your success because when your business succeeds, the community succeeds and the bank succeeds. Come in and talk to me, Scott Utt, Commercial Loan Officer at First Vincent Savings Bank, 615 Kimmel Road. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Two eighteen remaining, and the house is looking at a 17-point deficit. They had it uh, down to 10 at the end of three, but uh, quickly, I think it was a 5-0 run real quick by uh, Linton that got it back up, and uh, they've just pretty much coasted right now. To yeah. Be real honest about it. Linton made their first four shots in the fourth quarter while the Alices uh, missed their first three. Uh, kind of took away any hope, I think, that uh, we might have had. Uh, good basketball team. I mean, Boy, this is a very good Linton team. Yeah, good Good, solid guard play, and the, the big bodies, uh, you know, don't just play inside. They're, you got to guard them at the perimeter. They can put it on the floor. Uh, just a, a really good Linton team, I think. That slower kid makes them go. Mm -hmm. Up cross timeline with it. Corona. Spencer out to Sager. Braden on the dribble. 
Lost it. Stolen away by Robbins. They dump it back now to Slover. Slover hands it across to Woodward. Lob it out high to Futures, and he's fouled by Tate Shipman. So back to the drawing board for the house. I'll have to get ready for a real important game coming up next Friday night, a first conference game of the season at Mount Carmel. Always a fun trip. Not an easy place to win. Futures at the line. Free throw is up, and rebound. They got the missed free throw. Out it goes, Slover. Under two minutes to go. Slover, well, lost to the hands of Shookman. He got fouled by Slover. They were just going for the basketball. Third foul on Slover. That's just their third team foul here in the second half. The Allison's will inbound it in the backcourt. Down by 17, minute 53 to go. Just got kind of into too big a hole to dig out of against this team. Sager, deep three by Shookman. That's a brick. There to get the rebound, Hopwood. Probably the lone bright spot tonight has been Hunter Hopwood. Yeah, he's played very well. Uh, definitely someone I think we're going to rely on to put points on the board for us and uh, do some work down there in the post. He can also shoot it from three. Knocks down the uh, first free throw. He's got 13 on the night. Hit with pretty good touch. Good awareness, knows where he's at on the basketball court. Hayes and Hale back in. And both go down for Hopwood. Another big thing for Linton, they got a bench. Yeah, they're deep. A little pressure by the house, they bring it up. A minute 30 to go, Slover comes it across. Hale back to Slover. Double team down front. They dump it down, ball, well, it's a foul, yeah. Sager, I think, is going to be the guilty party there. Yep. They'll be at the line shooting one one Southward, Woodward, I should say, will be there. Oh, and we'll see Jarrett Rose for the first time tonight for Princeton. 6'5", senior. Come in at the line, Noah Woodward, who's got 11 points in the ball game. Free throw is up and good. Another one coming his way here. By the iron for the second one. That one's on the way and nets them both. Back to that 17-point lead. Up the floor comes Shookman. Minute 20 to go. Sager pops open from three. Goes in now, but too little too late. Now it's called timeout. Minute 18 to go. It's a 14-point lead for Linton. We're back. 30 seconds here on WZDM, WZDM.com. When you're looking for your next garage door, the original overhead door company of Vincennes is your first call. Quality, safety, and security is what you get when you install an overhead garage door in your home or business. For more than 40 years, the original overhead door company has been serving Knox and surrounding counties. Call 812-882-DOOR today for the best in the garage door business. That's 812-882-DOOR. The original overhead door company of Vincennes. Minute 18 remains. The Alices are going to lose here at Alice Arena. Mentioned on the road for two next weekend. Mount Carmel on Friday night and over at Lawrenceville on Saturday night before they're back home two weeks from uh, yesterday when they'll host Princeton. Princeton, a very good basketball team this year with some size. I saw Coach Haywood at the yeah, game last night. Mm -hmm. But right now, to this point in the season, it's early yet, but this Linton team's been the best one on the Allison have seen to this point. For sure. Uh, those guards really make them go. They can handle the basketball, and they can get to the rim. And then down the backcourt, you know, it's a little pressure. Knocked away, but got picked up by Linton. They'll dump it back to Futures. Futures down the corner. They whip it back out front to Slover. Slover gets fouled out front by Corona. Spencer, I think, with his fourth. And now put Slover at the line. He's 2-2 two two from the stripe. 
And just a junior. We're going to see him again next year. Well, you can see Futurists again yeah. next year. You're going to see Tucker Hayes next year. Keep going. Both Robbins, uh -huh. uh, Noah Clark, Lincoln Hale. I should say Lincoln Hale, not Noah Clark, but there's a bunch of them. Slower knocks down the first free throw. Another toss coming here for Slover. Eyes young. It's on the way and no good. Rebound pulled out of there by Hopwood. Right side, Fortune with it. Alice is down by 15. Fortune inside, kicks it back over to Spencer Corona. Under a minute to go. Corona kicks it back to Hopwood. He drives inside, leans in, shot up and good under Hopwood. That's 16 tonight. Ball swatted out of bounds by Secker. Still belongs to Linton. 13 point lead for the Miners with 46 seconds to go. Coach Thompson making sure his team plays to the final buzzer here. Take it out of the backcourt and he dump it into Slover. Up the four Woodward, down the left side they go. And a foul on Hopwood. Mount Carmel still have all their size. Well, the Marquette kid, of course, uh, tore his knee up before football. He's not available, so they, they're not as big. The other kid graduated, I can't remember his yeah. name. Free throw is good by Hale. Seen or heard anything on them so far this year? I mean, they were big last night. They lost Evansville North last night. Hale knocks down both free throws. 62 47. Lob inside, that's not a good pass. Knocked away easily by Linton. Southford gets fouled and uh, he's got their finger, their uh, feet tangled up there, I think. And Hopwood picks up the foul. It's fourth. Will scroll the other end and prolong the agony a little bit as Southward will go the line. No Southward, he's three or four from the stripe tonight. Played solid for him like everybody has for the Miners. Knocks down first free throw. Got another one coming as well. Woodward, I keep going southward. I don't know where that came from, but it's Woodward. <laughs> Across the top line, 16 point lead. Or letting the right side it comes now. Hopwood. Hopwood from three. Won't go. Rebound pulled down by Linton and then a reach in foul on Rob, I believe. And we'll walk to the other end. More free throws here for the Miners. And it'll be Lincoln Northward. No, Lincoln Hale will be in. <laughs> Hale at the stripe. He is just a freshman. Good looking 6'3 freshman. Free throws up. Miss that one. I guess if there was one coaching uh, point tonight for them, it would be, you know, maybe a little better shooting at the free throw line, but uh, be really picky, I think, maybe. 17-point lead again for the Miners with 13 seconds to go. Sager, drive it off the glass. It's short. Rebound loose in the lane. Scramble for it. Hopwood trying to come up with it. It's tied up. The arrow belongs to Linton. And 5.7 seconds to go. The Miners will inbound it. In the backcourt. Lead pass up the floor. And they throw it to Hopwood. I'd rather Rob. Rob. Over to Fortune, he'll let fly from three, won't go. And that ends it, and Linton wins it going away. Ran out to a 24-4 first quarter lead. The Alice's could never recover. As the Miners pick up their fourth win with no losses on the season, the Alice's now see their record even at two and two. As the Linton Miners win it here tonight at Alice Arena. It's Linton 64, the Alice's 47. We'll be back after this time.